What's up, dudes? Max here. As many of you guessed, we were getting a new Street Fighter V character reveal this week. As predictions came true, it was indeed a new character. I saw a little bit of them this morning. There was some dude trying to periscope the live viewing of it, and it was just incredibly horrible footage. Woke up as soon as I possibly could today to edit this, and we have a trailer. Let's watch this and find out what the hell is going on with the latest revealed character in Street Fighter V. All right, so okay, that is the middle. Absolutely, is the Middle Eastern guy. Remember the name well. What was on his power levels over nine thousand? Something weird is on his face. Holy crap! Okay, we finally got a character that can fucking roll. Damn, he looks good. Holy shit! So he has a tornado projectile. So that's where that was coming from. He's got a dive kick. He can jump off walls. He's got a decent cross up. Wow, that was kind of nutty. That's gonna be pretty good for Oki setups. Shit, you can combo after it, too. He, like, commands the wind or something like that. Rashid? It was Rashid, I think it was. Uh, yo, holy shit. Okay, so he doesn't have magic. He's got, like, bullshit on his back. Like, if you go back and we look at this thing, he's actually got all this, like, tech and stuff on his back that looks like that's actually letting him do that. I'm pretty sure like by the time this has come out now, there's been a lot more information that's been revealed about the guy, but from what I can tell right now, he looks nutty. He almost looks like El Fuerte in a way. He doesn't look like, oh my God, like it's Alex or Yurian or something like that. It gives me hope that maybe Pullum Pernum could also be announced at some point. Okay, Rashid looks pretty damn cool. The crazy thing as well is that Ono actually mentioned in about a week or so, there's going to be another character reveal at Tokyo Game Show. So within the span of two weeks, two more characters are gonna be revealed. I think he looks better than Nikali, which is kind of crazy because I don't mind the way Nikali looks. Um, I'm hoping we can get some more gameplay footage so I can do a proper breakdown. The thing that's kind of bugged me, and I, I was very early when I saw this, was that a lot of people were mentioning that there's... You have, like, this Middle Eastern character, then the fact that the game was also... Or the trailer came out on 9-11 at the same time, and just isn't that coincidence that the game show, like, there's, like, a Dubai game show, which is where this thing was shown off at, is on 9-11. That's, that's just coincidence. It kind of bugs the shit out of me because no one... No one said a damn thing that the very first Street Fighter V trailer that came out came out a day before Pearl Harbor's anniversary. And what characters in Street Fighter V? A Japanese man. You sons of bitches. The dude's got brown skin. It doesn't mean he's a terrorist, so I'm not going to accept any of those type of comments in the chat. He looks really cool. He's got a lot of good animations, and he fucking looks like a JoJo's character, and for some reason, he's got a scouter on his face. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm gonna wait to see more. Um, I hope we eventually I'll get to play him when I do get to go to TwitchCon, which will be coming very soon. I'm gonna be playing a shit ton of Street Fighter V. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time.